find it challenging to take care of yourself and to feed yourself when you're taking care of your little ones? How do you eat intuitively while you're parenting? That is the topic of today's Diet Free Zone show. Hi, I'm Bonnie Giller, registered dietitian, nutritionist, and certified intuitive eating counselor. If you're a mom or a dad and you're taking care of little ones, it can absolutely be challenging to take care of yourself. I get it. I myself have four children. Now, while they are older now, three of which are out of the home and really living their own lives, I know how hectic it can be. You're busy taking care of their needs, whether they're little babies and infants or they're toddlers or even adolescents. There's a lot to do. And many times you will find yourself in a situation where you don't even have the time to feed yourself. But what I find very interesting is we always find the time to feed our children, right? So some of the challenges that I experienced personally when I was raising young children and that a lot of my followers and clients have shared with me is number one, they're so busy with their kids, they wait too long to eat and then they become ravenous. And what happens when you become ravenous? When you finally do eat, you often find yourself eating past that comfortable fullness, maybe even to stuffed, and it also can lead to binge eating later on in the evening. If you resonate with this challenge, please comment below so others will know they're not alone. The next challenge is the schedule is so chaotic, you will lose touch with your hunger and fullness signals. You're no longer really being guided by those signals that in fact you were born with. If you find yourself that you have a free minute you're going to grab something to eat, throw it in your mouth because you don't know when you're going to have another free minute. So here's the thing, right? As a parent, you are alert and you are responsive to your child's needs, including their feeding and their nutrition needs. If your child is hungry, what happens? Well, let's take the child, let's say if the child's a baby, right? They're going to cry. And you pretty much could know, well, that's a hunger cry. What happens if you don't answer the hunger cry by feeding the baby? Well, that cry is going to get louder and louder and louder. Have you ever had a toddler that was hungry and you weren't necessarily responding immediately and the stomping would start and the screaming would start, mm -hmm, right? We know when we're born, when we're hungry, it's innate. So those little babies and your toddler know in fact when they're hungry and they're communicating that hunger to you. And as a parent, you generally are going to honor that. Now the same thing with fullness. The child knows when they've had enough to eat. They push away the breast, the bottle, the spoon, they're done. It's innate. You have those signals as well. But the problem is because you've ignored it for so long because you're, you know, doing the parenting thing, right? And taking care of others, you're not necessarily taking care of yourself. And those signals, they get quiet. You just don't hear them anymore. But the same way that you respect and respond to your child's inner signals of hunger and fullness is the way that I would love for you to respond to yours. And you may say, well, Bonnie, but I don't hear those signals anymore. Okay, I got you. That is true. You may not. And so working on becoming more aware of what your body needs and the sounds of hunger and fullness is going to be a very important step forward for you to see change. So some suggestions that I could provide for you is number one, plan ahead. Plan ahead and have nourishing snacks ready for you. Listen, I know when you will, will you leave the house and you've got that diaper bag slung over your shoulder, you've got plenty of snacks in that diaper bag for those children, right? Why not plan for yourself just as you plan for your children? So take a moment and write out a list of several snacks that you enjoy because they've got to taste great and satisfying and that you have easily accessible or you can prepare in advance so that you can
can answer the call of hunger when you feel it and not ignore it. All right, second suggestion for you today is plan certain times in your schedule to just take a moment and sit down. Now, I know you're going to say that's not possible when I'm parenting kids, especially if I'm a single parent and I get that. But all I want you to do is try to plan for five or 10 minutes throughout the day to just check in with your body and ask yourself, what am I feeling? Do I hear any hunger signals? Is my body giving me any messages in this moment that I would like to respond to? And third, third suggestion for you is when your children sit down to eat a meal or a snack, try sitting with them at the table because this gives you an opportunity to also check in with yourself. So as you can see, the idea is how do you reconnect with your inner signals? How do you learn to listen and to hear those signals again? It has a lot to do with taking five, pausing and listening and checking in. There you have it. I'm hoping that is so helpful for you. And by the way, when you do these things, you are being a role model for your children. They see everything. They pick up everything. So if your children can see that you're taking five minutes for yourself to see what you need and to possibly nourish yourself with a snack that you've planned, you're sending a very, very strong message to them as well. A positive message. I hope that this has been helpful. Please post a comment below and don't forget to like this video, to share this video, and to come on over to dietfreeradiantme.com for all the other resources that I have for you on intuitive eating. That's it for this episode of the Diet Free Zone Show. I'll see you in the next one.